When was the last time you went clothes shopping and just couldn't find what you liked? What if you wanted a sleek gray suit that fits you like a glove? A Mo Rocca special such as this, but sadly there were none to be found. Well, there's a group of inventors who hope that one day you'll be able to hit a button and print the clothes you want. Yes, even the Mo Rocca special. Here's Ali Ward making your fashion dreams come true one more time. You may know 3D printing as the burgeoning technology that prints three-dimensional solid objects from a digital file. You can pretty much 3D print anything, like cute orange bowls, pancakes, even little green Buddhas. But what about clothes? Yeah, real shirts and skirts made from actual fibers that are not woven, but 3D printed. That was a mind-blowing concept until now. I hopped a shuttle to San Francisco, California to meet Aaron Rowley, co-founder and CEO of a startup that innovated a way to 3D print fabric material using a device they hand built called Electroloom. We were big fans of 3D printing, but we noticed that the limitation on 3D printing was that it's most effective for creating solid goods and we wanted to create soft goods. Coming from the world of biomedical engineering, Aaron and his partners used techniques from that experience to develop the Electroloom. The first step is mixing a proprietary recipe of chemicals that will eventually become teeny tiny nanofibers. The setup looks questionably legal. Yeah, questionably <laughs> legal. We're fortunate to not have to work with anything that's really caustic or really volatile. Next, Aaron uses an electrical field to transform his liquid mixture into fiber particles. We use electricity basically to pull on the liquid, and the liquid, as it's being pulled on, then hardens into a fiber. And as you pull that across a gap, let's say inside of a machine, that liquid converts into a fiber as it dries. So Aaron, here we have an electroloom rig. Call it a rig, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, rig. What's happening here? What's happening here is that we have this centerpiece in here. We call this a mold. So it starts rotating when the machine is on. And then the back, there is a bank of nozzles. So as this rotates in front of those nozzles, the nozzles spray or lay down fibers onto the surface of the mold. Over time, it becomes completely covered in the fabric um, like this. <gasps> Look at that. Yeah. And then is that a cylinder? Yep, it's a cylinder, exactly. So when we take the mold out of the machine, we pull the fabric off of the surface, and then you're left with this. So this is totally seamless. Yes, totally seamless. Yeah. It's so soft, too. It feels yeah. like suede. Yeah, we've had it described as a cross between leather and suede. I want a full body <laughs> suit made out of this. Yeah, we've made a few wearable things, not a dress yet. Skirt, though, so we can give you a skirt. Just keep it in mind. Okay, nice. <laughs> Electroloom is working on printing 3D shapes using 2D forms sprayed with fibers on both sides and shrinking the printing time. It will take anywhere from 8 to 14 hours for that to actually spread out and encapsulate the whole mold. So we're experimenting with ways of speeding that process up, but right now it takes a while. You might be watching thinking Electroloom is great for the garment industry, but Aaron's vision is much bigger than that. The original, original concept behind this was not just that it made garments, um, but that it enabled people to be making garments themselves. And so we wanted the technology in the long run to actually enable people to make things themselves in their own home, in their business. So in the not too distant future, you could become a fabulous fashionista, 3D printing your own designs with an Electroloom right in your home. Just gonna have to find a lot more closet space because I'll be printing clothes 24 seven. Just saying.